Hello everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about Salesforce Marketing Cloud personalization. So as you can see here, uh, I've displayed three blog posts into a section of my website with Marketing Cloud Intelligence. And I have like the format of the date that is uh, correctly formatted. It's like the format that I want. But for that, I, I have to, uh, I've had to edit like the client side code of my web template. And I will show you how to do it because uh, you cannot edit an handle bar uh, directly. You have to edit that into the, uh, like the, uh, basically like the client side of Marketing Cloud. So I will just, I will just uh, do that and also just launch my notepad. I will add this here. And as you can see here, my dates, this is how my dates are displayed initially. And me, what I want to do is to format um, the, this date that is like a, a, a number that I, a human cannot read into a nice format that is readable by a website visitor. So as you can see uh, in my blog post, I've created a date field uh, and the type is date. So make sure that the type of your date is date. Otherwise, it will not work. Uh, then like the other thing is that here, I've displayed the value date just here in my handlebar and now it's appearing like this and I want to make it uh, looks nice. So like the first thing that I will do is I will go in my client side code and I will go into the apply function and then I will create uh, a new like a new uh, function and this function will be const uh, fmt and I will say const fmt equal uh, this value. So basically what this value does is I create a format available. So it just I I, I, like this constant will have the possibility to uh, edit a variable and format it in a specific way uh, once another variable is associated with it. So uh, here, as you can see, what we do is day numeric. So like the day will be, for example, 26. The month will be a short month. So it will not be April. For example, it will be APR. And the, the year will be numeric. So it will be uh, one, nine, nine, one, nine, nine, six, for example. So this is basically what we do. Uh, after that, I will have to loop through the three articles. So for example, if I display five uh, blog posts on the website, I will need to loop through five blog posts. But in our case, we will just loop uh, through uh, only three blog posts. So for that, I will uh, create a for function. And I will say for uh, i i is my counter. counter and uh, I will say i inferior to uh, context. So basically, context is like your overall data, like all your objects, all your attributes. And here, I need to say, uh, as long as my counter, uh, my counter is inferior to the number of blog posts. So here, I will call blogs. And then uh, I need to do to increment my counter. And I will say i plus plus. Okay. So once I've done that, I will open like the like I will do a specific action into my uh, variable. And here, I will come to say like I will say that context. So I call all my objects after I call blogs and I call like the specific blog, uh, blogs that I'm working on in my loop. And then I will call the attributes because this object contains a lot of attributes. Then my attributes that I'm working on is the date and then the date value. Um, and once I've done that, I will say equal, equal FMT format. And here I will uh, come to say context blogs article. Right. Up. Here I put this way, and I will come to put like just like a, like a, a comma at the end, and I think that should be all the thing that I've need, I, I need to do. And now uh, <coughs> what we want to do is to refresh that. So I will just do blog post pp. Okay, if I just refresh my thing, my website it should work. So it's not working yet. Uh, if I do that, tack. If I do that, okay. So here I do. I have my constant that is correct. I have my four. Okay. Context blog. Is it? Ah, oh, yeah. I know why. It's because I forget to put the length. It's this way. Yep. Okay. And if I continue. And I go here. So nothing is displayed yet. So I would just see. Tac, tac, tac. Okay. So here I have my uh, blocks lens. Okay. Context. Block lens i plus plus. Okay. And here, context blog <coughs> dates value. Maybe it's because it should be that. Yeah, so it was like uh, the capitalized. So as you can see here, uh, now I have a nicely formatted that date and I'm able to uh, 
to, to, to see it like in a specific format. Uh, okay, maybe what if I change that to uh, long? Now I can see April. Uh, what if I say uh, long here? No, it will not work. But uh, if I say numeric for months, yeah, I'm able to change that. So it's pretty interesting, I guess. Like now you can know uh, like how to format an, 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 uh, an handlebar with uh, marketing cloud personalization uh, by using like the client side uh, JavaScript. So if you have any questions, please let me know and thank you for watching this video. Thank you.